coming up on the Below Deck Mad After Show. I think Captain Sandy can smell when something's going wrong. She just sits, sits in that cabin and she's like, right, it's the time to do a deck check. Who forgot to put the blog in? You know, when I hear something on the radio or I see something, of course, I'm going to inquire. She might have just sucked up a plastic bag. People make mistakes. You don't need to protect anybody. Just be honest. They're not going to be reprimanded. Happens, but we didn't lose the jet ski, so it's okay. When there's really bad weather and the guests can't use the toys, you see them like getting stir crazy, and so you're like, What can we do? Like, how can we entertain them? So awkward, eh? Nightmares, still nightmares. Your Below Deck Man after show starts right now. While the guests are enjoying water sports, there's an issue with one of the jet skis. It kind of sounds weird. It's not going fast. The guest at first said, oh, it's making a weird noise. And I was looking at it and I was like, mm, you know, I don't think something got in the intake, but we'll check it out. Look at that wave on her house out of the water. I think Captain Sandy can smell when <laughs> something's going wrong. She just sits, sits in that cabin and she's like, right, yeah. it's time to do a deck check. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly at that time. There's that one thing that's gone wrong for the whole charter. And yeah. She seems to appear. And then we just noticed it was sitting really low. I was like, ah, <laughs> jet ski sitting really low. Did someone put the bungs in? Did you guys double check the drains on the jet skis? I just asked Dave, but that's looking that's... like he didn't. You know, when I hear something on the radio or I see something, of course, I'm going to inquire, especially when it starts to damage the equipment and affect the experience of charter guests on board. With deck crew, the captain's always going to be more, you know, hands on because they know they've, they've run the deck before. But it's like with Captain Sandy, I'm like, I know I've got it under control. Don't worry. Like, we're fine. Malia, so who forgot to put the plug in? I grew up in the awning. You know, I guarantee you the plug wasn't put in. It wasn't put in correctly or someone forgot to put the plug in. I know that. I've done it myself. So getting to the truth, for me, I always want to know that my crew are always honest. I don't, I don't know if that's the problem. So apparently- It's filling out of the water. She might have just sucked up a plastic bag because I saw a plastic bag right here and now I don't see it, so. <laughs> yeah, but the bag doesn't think. It's like Malia wants to protect we're not in a protection business. We're in a charter business. People make mistakes. You don't need to protect anybody. Just be honest. They're not going to be reprimanded. This jet ski is filling up with water. Yeah. I don't think the buttons were put in properly. I checked them. You checked them before you put them in the water? No, after. Like the same process I've been doing for four years. But for whatever reason, that day, they weren't in. <laughs> To be fair to David, the bung was actually in, it just wasn't seated correctly. So it was taking on water, but he didn't forget completely, but he didn't put it in correctly. But then it's like anything, I've, I've, I've been in this long enough now, like if, if it was me, like, it's kind of like, I'm not, I'm not worried, like, you know, it happens, but we didn't lose the jet ski, so it's okay. You know, yes, it has to be flushed, like whatever, but. I did, I did lose one. You didn't lose it. It floated away. It floats. Is that jet ski tied onto something? Uh, I don't think it is. That's okay. You're going about doing a job thinking that you're doing everything right, and then you suddenly see her behind you watching, and you think, Whoa, like, what, what am I not doing? Or And then, and then you start to mess up because you're thinking too much about she's there watching you. Wow, that had a lot of water in it. There's no way that bung was in. It was the bung's. He thought they were in, but it wasn't. All right, thanks. Just be honest, because you know what I'm gonna say as a captain? I've done that. It sucks. I guarantee you next time they won't forget to put the plug in, just like I did. With the weather being less than ideal, David and Z step in to help entertain the charter guests. This all stemmed from my my anchor watch. This is where this all came from. <laughs> <laughs> she stayed in the bridge. <laughs> like the story spreads, oh, you know, well, that happened last night, that's funny. And then it led on to what happened. When there's really bad weather and the guests can't use the toys, you see them like getting stir crazy. And so you're like, what can we do? Like, how can we entertain them? And obviously this group had a lot of 
fun ladies who appreciated the men on board. We knew that they were fun and that they didn't take themselves too seriously. And like, we had obviously seen that from the night before when she had obviously dressed up and was like giving you a lap dunk, which was absolutely hilarious. So I felt like it was like the boys' turn to kind of do, especially David, obviously to do his bit. To get the boys in the fireman office. Yes! We should set the fire alarm (gasps) on. have the guys turn up and be like, is there a fire? (laughs) Oh my God, yes! I was like, right, deck crew, it's your time to shine. Like, do you want to do it? And the boys were like more than happy to. They were like, right, we'll be like your little Chippendale d- dancers. I was like, hey, have at it, make it fun. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to give lap dancers, both myself and Dale. Oh, f- off. I would not want to do that. <laughs> the boys, that's yeah. Dave and Z. I thankfully didn't have to get yeah. involved with that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, that fireman suit. <laughs> nightmares. Still nightmares. <laughs> awkward. So awkward, eh? And I think the worst thing about it is, is that I haven't really thought about it up until now, but I'm going to have to watch it. <laughs> I'm never going to forget your dance, though, because it was so intense. <laughs> it was the eye contact no, that went, did it. I went, I went full, full magic mic. <laughs> just like looking in the eyes, making the eye contact, and I just, a whole, a whole other person came over me. It was Mav. Mav came over you. No, Mav. <laughs> Mav, Mav decided like if we're doing this Z, we're doing this, and we're doing this Mav style, not Z style. I think what we did worked. As far as going one step ahead for the guests, we could not have put much more into that. Really. Yeah. It was really funny and it was great entertainment for the afternoon. So yeah, like the, the girls definitely loved it and appreciated it for sure. The icing on the cake, the beer pong. I sing on the cake. <laughs> I had to shut it down before it got two Chippendales. <laughs> Which was quite amusing. I know how to fondle a ball. <laughs> the charger guest started getting a little too frisky and I was like, right, I need to save my deck crew. And I was like, sorry guys, they need to like go change. And you know, their dancer is not prostitutes, so. <laughs> During this charter, we see Lexi help Delaney with laundry and cabins. These ones, sorry, these ones you did correct. And shake it out. And then spoil the hell out of it to get the lines out. You're a stew, girl. I think what was cool is like, I witnessed at one point, like Lexi teaching Delaney some things down in the laundry room. And I thought that was cool because, you know, that helps Lexi find her place because she can teach someone and they clicked. So then that just kind of helps all around, you know? And ask them what they'd like to drink. I mean, so like boats for like the Deccans do not talk to guests. No. <laughs> you had to break out of that. So- can I bring anyone a drink? I was actually really happy they were getting along so well. I felt like just because of what happened, I guess Lexi was isolated. She had isolated herself. Um, I definitely tried so hard to like, mend that whole situation um but she did keep isolating herself so when Delaney came on and I saw they really got along like I actually really I liked that because I felt like she did need that because I don't feel like she had that from anyone else on board at the time it was like nice to see for sure Lexi was actually a great teacher honestly she was patient with me she wasn't quick to blame she was super helpful I definitely give props to Lexi for um the way that she she took on the challenge and she helped me out in that situation. Oh my God, I think I cut yours too short. Holy (laughs) why did I trust you? We had fun. I mean, we, you know, we had laugh and we had banter and we got the job done. It was, it was good. You know, even though Delaney had no clue, I think people like had this opinion of Lexi because of their problems with her and how she acted towards all of us that like when they saw her like being friends with, you know, Delaney, it just annoyed us, (laughs) you know, and it was not her fault at all. She has no clue what like what's happened. You get close with people when you, when you have a lot of time to like chat about everything and it's just you two the whole time. And yeah, I think Lexi definitely used that situation to her advantage and kind of saw it as somebody that she could start a 
clean slate with and not really tell all of the details of everything that's happened so far, but just kind of play the victim role slightly. What was the wound situation originally? I was with Malia and Katie and Courtney. What was, what? We got into like a tiny argument. You're a bosun, stand the f down. I mean, we get along well now, everyone gets along. Yeah. I didn't see that coming instantly, but I mean, I guess if you're spending all day with somebody in the laundry, you could become close. It's like us on deck though, isn't it? You spend every day together. You you either form exactly. like a very good bond or you just hate each other. Yes, girl, let's slay together. <laughs>